the file has been compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Scorpio born in the year of the Metal Ram, 1991, and in the Hour of the Rat. The Rat, called in Chinese the Z Branch, born 1948, 1960, 1972, 1984, 1996, 2008, and 2020. Pointed to rat is directly north. The rat is a yang water element animal. Its season is winter and its principal month is December. It is the first animal in the Chinese zodiac. Keywords quick mind, a good bargainer, a natural charmer. Rat correlates to the western sign of Sagittarius. The following material comes from Taoist Astrology, a handbook of authentic Chinese tradition by Suzanne Levitt with Jean Tang. Copyright by Suzanne Levitt and Jean Tang, 1997. I do not own the following content. The Rat Year Clever, magnificent rat is honored in Asian culture, unlike the Western stereotype of rats as plague-carrying vermin to be exterminated. In Japanese lore, a white or metal rat is the symbol of Daikoku, the god of wealth and prosperity. Therefore, rat has the natural ability to be successful. Although some translations refer to rat as mouse, this is misleading because rat's personality is rarely meek and mousy. The most significant rat character trait is cleverness. A Taoist folktale recalls how rat conquered ox and became the first animal of the Taoist zodiac. There was a contest in a Chinese village to select the 12 animals of the horoscope. Ox was working on a farm when Rat came to see him. Rat told Ox about the contest because he wanted to ride on Ox's back to get to the village. Ox trudged for miles over difficult terrain with Rat on his back. Ox struggled as he swam across a mighty river with Rat on his back. When Ox and Rat finally arrived at the village, people saw Rat riding on the back of Ox. They were so impressed by this that they made Rat number one in the sequence of the twelve animals. The year of the rat is a time of plenty, bringing abundance and good fortune. In this auspicious year, some of rat's prosperity can influence everyone, regardless of one's birth animal. Expect a powerful year when people are firm about their goals, passions, and aspirations. Although there may be fluctuation in world economies, it is an excellent time to start a business, buy property, invest in long-term plans, or accumulate wealth. All ventures begun in rat years will prosper if well prepared. But it is not a time for foolish risks, save those for tiger and monkey years. Rat loves the pack, so it is also a time for socializing, entertaining, and enjoying ourselves. The following comes from the Handbook of Chinese Horoscopes by Theodora Lau and Laura Lau. The Rat's Triangle of Affinity, the Fire Triangle, who are called the Doers. The Rat is part of the First Triangle of Affinity, a group of positive people identified as doers. The rat, the dragon, and the monkey are performance and progress-oriented signs adept at handling matters with initiative and innovation. Self-starters, they prefer to initiate action, clear their paths of uncertainty and hesitation, and forge ahead. Restless and short-tempered when hindered or forced to be unoccupied, they are full of dynamic energy and ambition. This trio is the melting pot of ideas. They can team up beautifully because they possess a common way of doing things and will appreciate each other's method of thinking. The rat will encounter his most serious personality clashes with someone born in the year of the horse. Anyone whose ascendant is of the horse will also be likely to come into conflict with the rat. In the circle of conflict, the rat and the horse are 180 degrees apart and thus total opposites. The rat's direction or compass point is directly north, while the horse's is directly south. The rat represents winter, the horse, summer. The rat's natural element is water, which puts out its opposite, fire, which is the horse's natural element. Aside from the super compatible dragon and monkey, and the super incompatible horse, the other nine signs are compatible with the rat to varying degrees. Now back to Taoist Astrology by Suzanne Levitt with Jean Tang. Rat Personality The person born in a rat year is clever, sharp, humorous, creative, industrious, curious, intuitive, witty, optimistic, yet frugal. 
He can pinch pennies and is a great bargainer. The rat individual is very observant, quick to take action, and popular in social circles. Rat's charm and quick wit often wins admiration wherever he goes. Rat can adapt easily to different environments and can survive against all odds. Rat is very instinctive and relies on instinct and cleverness to succeed. But Rat must not ignore logic and reality and become caught in an unrealistic rat trap. Because Rat is so intelligent, his racing mind can create an illogical maze. Sometimes Rat's active mind becomes like a rodent on a treadmill, endlessly running but going nowhere. At these times, Rat must avoid the negative traits of being sly, secretive, critical, and judgmental of others. Rat can create internal stress when he worries and frets endlessly, especially about health. Since Rat is a nocturnal animal, he often enjoys working at night during the quiet hours, but staying up all night can cause health problems. Yet Rat loves to stay up until the wee hours, for that is Rat's creative time. Rat has a natural talent for the arts, specifically with writing. Rat has a great appetite and appreciates fine cuisine. He loves all types of tasty food, fine wines, baked goods, and luxurious gourmet meals. Although Rat may not have the patience to prepare these fine meals, he will be first in line at the newest restaurant. Rat Child and Parent A rat born in the spring, summer, or fall has an easier time in life, for that is when grain is plentiful and food is easy to find. But a rat born in the cold of winter also can have abundance, for that is when the harvest bins are full of grain. A rat born at night is very active and has a more hectic life than a daytime born rat. A daytime born rat may have an easier life and find peace. A child born in the year of the rat will be sweet and loving. Outwardly, he may be shy, but inwardly he is fiercely competitive. Often he resorts to crying to get more attention, and usually clings to one or two people with whom he identifies. Although he has a charming disposition, he tends to be possessive of parents and friends and jealous of attention given to others. He will talk early. He likes to eat, mention of his favorite foods always makes him light up, and he takes an early interest in cooking and other household chores. Because he is so affectionate and demonstrative, he will not like being left alone. He will enjoy group play, can concentrate on detailed work, and will make friends easily. You can depend on him to keep things tidy, or at least know where his possessions are. The rat child will start to show his calculating nature early in life. He will insist on getting the bigger half of the apple, and exactly the same number of cookies as his sibling, preferably more, but under no circumstances less. It will be hard to cheat him. He learns fast and never misses a trick. He takes regular stock of his possessions, so don't try to give away his old toys, thinking he won't miss them. Then again, if you consult him about donating his old toys or clothes, be prepared for a struggle, as the little rat won't part with anything easily. With younger children, the rat child will tend to be motherly. At his worst, he will boss them around mercilessly. Given the proper encouragement, he will be ambitious in school. An avid reader, he will learn the importance of the written word early and be able to express himself well. Many of the world's greatest writers and historians were born in the year of the rat. The rat parent. The rat parent dotes on her child or his child and is very attentive to her or his offspring's every need. Rat is intelligent and cultivates that quality in children. Therefore, rat parents will read to their children and invest in their education. The same rules of compatibility apply as for the rat relationships. Rat favors dragon, monkey, and ox children, who will excel in school and be successful. Rat is compatible with rat, hare, serpent, dog, and boar children, who will obey rat's rules and acquiesce to rat's standards. But horse, tiger, sheep, and phoenix children can create strain and problems for the rat parent. Care must be taken by the rat parent not to display favoritism. Instead, Strive to honor all children equally. The following information comes from the Handbook of Chinese Horoscopes, 7th edition, by Theodora Lau and Laura Lau. The first sign of the lunar cycle, the rat. The rat is often referred to in celestiology as the initiator. This is the initiator's song. I am the self-proclaimed acquisitor. 
I am a link, yet I function as a complete unit. I aim at encompassing heights and strike my target, sure and steady. Life is one joyous journey for me. Each search must end with a new quest. I am progress, exploration, and insight. I am the womb of activity. I am the rat. The sign of the rat rules the two-hour segment of the day between 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. This period of time closes the day at midnight as well as heralds in a new day. Persons born during this two-hour segment are said to have the rat sign as their ascendant and will display many of the characteristics peculiar to this sign and have great affinity for persons born under this sign. The Rat Personality The charm and innovative personality of the rat is legendary. He did not become the first sign of the cycle without good reason. I have a woven a tale about how this might have come to pass. According to my story, when the Lord Buddha gave out the summons for all the animals to come to him before he departed the earth, he entrusted the rat with the mission to get the word around. It is entirely possible that the rooster was also chosen to announce the same message, and both did their utmost to reach as many of their fellow beasts as possible. The rooster, or phoenix, worked days and did most of its crowing during the sunlight hours, while the rat worked during the night. In its intense diligence to round up as many animals as possible, the rooster, or the phoenix, was delayed and the tenth animal to arrive. After the rooster came the dog and lastly the boar. One can imagine the rat rushing about with the good news. It went from place to place, encouraging all other animals to meet the Buddha at the appointed time and place. However, being the resourceful and practical animal that it is, the rat decided to save energy by asking her for a ride from other animals, since he was tired of running about and conveying the great sage's invitation, and he did not want to be late. Knowing the horse was the swiftest of the lot, the rat tried to get a free ride from it, but the temperamental horse would have none of it. Fiercely independent and proud, the horse decided that no one could tell it what to do and when to do it. There was plenty of time to trot to the appointment when it was ready. It told the rat to get a ride somewhere else. From that time on, the rat and the horse never got along. The rat thought the horse was selfish and thoughtless, while the horse felt that the clever rat was too manipulative and demanding. Nonetheless, the rat was too intelligent to be discouraged for long and used its wits again. This time, it approached the sturdy and kind-hearted ox, who was more than happy to carry the little rat on its back. Furthermore, the dutiful ox was early for the appointment and therefore the first animal to arrive on the scene. But when the Lord Buddha said he was going to honor the ox by naming it the first sign of the lunar cycle, the rat jumped down from the ox's back and claimed that privilege. The ox did not oppose the rat, as it felt the rat had done more than its fair share by bringing the news to all the animals. So the Buddha justly conferred the esteemed first place and leadership of the lunar cycle to the crafty rat. This is how the rat got its free ride and also got to be number one. The rat can be forthright, inquisitive, and intrusive, but always in such a disarmingly honest way that we find ourselves at a disadvantage. It is in business that this sign really excels. I remember seeing a young man in the streets of London one summer promoting some security or time-saving gadget. He presented quite a novel image of himself and his wares, but above all else, everyone noticed the t-shirt he had on. It read, be alert. England needs lerts. That sense of humor, combined with keen business acumen, summarizes the rat's inborn entrepreneurial sense. Yes, the rat is always alert to any opportunity for making money. Remarkably easy to get along with, hardworking and thrifty, he will be generous only to those he is inordinately fond of, so if you get an expensive gift from him, you know he holds you in high esteem. Yet, in spite of his penny-pinching ways, the rat will never be found wanting for admirers as he emits such fantastic appeal. On the surface, some rats may appear reserved, even placid, but they are never as quiet as they may seem. Something is always going on inside that sharp mind. Actually, the rat is easily agitated but able to maintain self-control, which explains why he is so popular and has such a multitude of friends. The rat person is usually a bright, fun-loving, and sociable character. Occasionally, you may come across a supercritical or grouchy, fault-finding one. But on the whole, he enjoys parties and other large gatherings. 
He will endeavor to join exclusive clubs and as a rule can be found in a close circle of friends or fellow conspirators. He is very outgoing and likes getting involved. How else is he going to be in the thick of things and amass all that information he has about everyone? The rat really cherishes his friends, associates, and family relations. At times, he gets hopelessly tangled in other people's affairs because he cannot easily rid himself of strong emotional attachments once he makes them. His capacity to love can only be overruled by his shrewdness and love of money. A rat boss may demonstrate a great concern about whether his employees are getting enough exercise or eating a balanced diet. In his heart, he sincerely cares about their welfare. He will visit them when they are sick and make their problems his problems. Yet when it comes to giving them that well-deserved raise, he will hedge and be a little stingy. A lot of arm twisting and collective bargaining is needed when it comes to parting a rat from his money. The rat lady may continually amaze you by being a model of frugality. She is forever distributing old clothes, recycling toys, buying or selling second-hand items, and stretching meals, leftovers, and the budget until the family could scream. However, she may not care to apply these same penny-pinching standards when dealing with her precious offspring. If her children know how to get around her, she will find it hard to deny them anything. Rat people are rarely tightwads where their loved ones are concerned. Strange how every time a rat mother cuts a cake, her child will likely get the largest slice, no matter who, whose birthday it is. Rat females are also voted most likely to recycle a Christmas gift, which gives new meaning to the saying, what goes around comes around. Rats are by nature decidedly clannish. Maybe there is some truth about safety in numbers. The rat never worries about having another mouth to feed and will allow his relatives, in-laws, and friends to stick around the house and live off them. Why? Because the crafty rat will always find something for them to, to do to earn their keep. Laggards, professional bums, and freeloaders will all get put to work swiftly in his household. Charity has its limits. Trust the efficient and practical rat. The rat native keeps his own secrets well, but he can be an expert at weeding other people's gardens. He has few qualms about using vital, confidential information or capitalizing on the mistakes of others. Trust him to investigate stock tips and follow through on privileged information. What do you mean insider trading? That couldn't possibly apply to him. After all, one certainly cannot expect the rat to ignore opportunities knock, especially when his ear is glued to the door so much of the time. A wink, a nod, or the tiniest move of an eyebrow is all you need to signal the rat that something's afoot. He will track it all the way to its source. As much as the rat likes to camouflage or hide his feelings, one can always tell when he is upset. He becomes edgy, curt and impertinent. Some may even become absolute nags. Inefficiency, idleness, waste, and tardiness go against his active and industrious nature and cause him to harp at the subject of his displeasure until things are done right. The rat loves to run the show, and everyone and everything had better look sharp under his stewardship. On his negative side, the rat person loves to gossip, criticize, compare, carp, and bargain endlessly, and usually over unimportant issues. Maybe he enjoys doing so just for the fun of it. Debates stimulate him, and he is never lacking an opinion or an intricately reasoned argument. He often buys things he does not really need just because he can get a good deal, and is usually taken in by bargains. It's his inborn acc accumulative urge. Mementos, souvenirs, and hordes of sentimental junk will be found tucked away in his room and in his heart. He also tends to be the neighborhood busybody, though more often than not, his intentions are good. The solicitous rat is always ready to share money-saving tips, recipes, fire sale specials, free samples, advice about discount store outlets, and where to get to the most for your the least. If you are planning a garage sale, the rat is the best ally to have around. The one problem may be that he will cart all your junk over to his home and try to find uses for it. They don't cut, call such people pack rats for nothing. It is not surprising that the rat is reputed to be an excellent writer. He makes it a point to know practically everything about everyone in town. He keeps tabs, has an uncanny eye for detail, a good memory, and is incredibly inquisitive. The rat loves to investigate. 
a reporter par excellence. He is good at keeping records and is always in on the latest news. The native of this year will be successful in whatever he chooses to do because the rat will adapt himself to the situation at hand. He has the ability to cope with difficulties and is at his best during a crisis. Level-headed and alert, he possesses keen intuition and foresight. Adversity merely serves to sharpen his wits as he is always busy cooking up some scheme. One can't blame him, he just thrives on challenges. There is no need to worry about the rat's safety as he always checks out the back door before entering. This is in case he has to make a quick or untimely exit from the scene. Self-preservation is high on his list of priorities and he usually finds the path with the least repercussions. If you want to get out of trouble fast, follow the rat's course. He has a built-in alarm system and a defense mechanism that rarely fails. His stumbling block is overambition. He tries to do too much too soon and as a result scatters his energies. If he can avoid doing this and persevere in finishing what he started, a person of this sign will end up wealthy, which is just as well as the rat loves money. Despite the rat's inborn ability to sense danger, he often has great difficulty relying on his own sound judgment because he simply cannot pass up bargains and so-called great deals. Alas, he ends up falling into the proverbial trap. He will have no problems in life if he can only conquer his greed and quit while he is ahead. In his lifetime, the covetous rat has to suffer at least one large financial blow before he learns that avarice does not pay. However, it is most unlikely to find a poor rat native, and if you do, well, with his resourcefulness, you can bet he will not remain poor for long. It would be totally out of character for him not to have a nest egg hidden away somewhere. Being the true sentimentalist of the Chinese cycle, the rat is not only deeply attached to his children, but to his elders as well. Parents with children born in this year can be sure that they will be well regarded and cared for by them. Unlike the dragon child who may demand perfection of his parents, the rat child will have infinite trust in his parents, cater to their needs and overlook their shortcomings. Many rats go into the medical profession just so that they can provide health care for their parents. They will be willing to have their parents live with them in their old age. Rats also make excellent doctors, nurses, and pharmacists. Aside from doting on their children and husbands, the rat mother revels in being a superb homemaker. She will help her husband's career development as if she were his campaign manager, drives the children to piano, ballet, and violin lessons, and take on so much social activity one's head would spin. A husband belonging to this sign, on the other hand, can be found helping out with household chores and spending his free time in the nest he provides for his family. The time of the day he was born plays an important role in the rat's way of life. Needless to say, one born in the evening will have a more hectic and strenuous life, night rats scurry around constantly in search of food, than his brother, rat born during the quiet of the day. The rat person will be attracted to people of the ox sign whom he finds strong, reliable, and appreciative of the devotion he has to offer. Equally compatible with the rat will be the mighty dragon people. Likewise, the, the rat finds the snake attractive and intelligent and may make a suitable alliance with him. Power and brilliance captivate the rat, and that is why he will always fall for the irresistible monkey born. He admires the clever monkey's way of doing things, and the monkey will be overjoyed to find the rat on his own cunning wavelength. Tiger, dog, boar, or other, another rat will have no trouble teaming up with the rat either. The rat will come into conflict with persons born under the horse sign. The horse is just too independent and changeable to please the clannish rat. The two could never team up well and find harmony. It would also be unwise for the rat to marry the rooster. The rooster, being the intrepid dreamer, will exasperate the practical rat to no end. Their constant arguments and fault-finding union will bear little fruit. A marriage with the sheep is similarly questionable. The indulgent sheep may squander the rat's hard-earned savings and fail to appreciate the rat's practical and frugal ways. The following material comes from Cosmic Astrology, an east-west guide to your internal energy persona, by Mantak Chia and William Yu Wei, published and copyrighted in 2012 by Destiny Books in Rochester, Vermont, U.S. I do not own the following content. The Year of the Rat Positive Traits Intellect 
charisma, thrift, appeal, skill, sociability, influence. Shortcomings, meddling, guile, acquisitiveness, dirty, verbosity, nervous, powerful. The popular notions about rats are anything but positive. They are seen only as dirty, thieving disease carriers. When we consider the natural inclinations of the rat out in the world, we must set aside our biases that name the rodent an enemy of mankind. Rats take care of their own families and are tireless and tenacious when it comes to caring for their young. Here is an example of an elevated rat position in history. When we see statues of the Indian elephant god Ganesh, it is not unusual to see a rat in attendance. Rats are seen as special because they are bound to be reincarnated as Hindu holy people. This is certainly different from the commonly held viewpoint. Rats are masters of chit chat ananda. They will talk your ear off. The positive side is that they are great communicators. Plato and Tolstoy are rats. The wonderful creators Hayden, Mozart, and Tchaikovsky are also musical members of the Rat Pack. Rats are ambitious and smart and very family oriented. They make terrific friends and are a veritable force of nature when it comes to providing for the family and tribal companions. They are also busy, busy, busy. Rat wants to get ahead of the world and recognizes the value of powerful associations. The Buddha understood the positive nature of Rat and assigned the smallest of the zodiac beasts the head of the calendar, the first year of the Chinese astrological configuration. Kenneth Graham's famous story, Wind in the Willows, features the character Ratty, who is a warm and loyal friend. He demonstrates those characteristics that shine like the warmth of the sun on his companions. Rat is a natural leader and is not above using whatever tactics are necessary to achieve a goal. Rat gets along best with dragon, monkey, and buffalo, or ox. Like the buffalo or ox, Rat is a deep thinker. Further, Rats will do their best to get along with all if it will support their goals. Rats are happiest when they are taking care of business, when they are doing what needs to be done to reach what they want and what will serve their communities of family and friends. Rat people contemplate the many virtues of rats. Rats go forth and rule.